Hello everyone, welcome back to our coordinate session that is belongs to Kingdom Animalia. In previous videos we have discussed about non coordinates as well as coordinate general characteristics also. And today we are going to discuss about the coordinate classification. What is meant by coordinate? The coordinate is a, a notochord. Notochord is generally found in higher developed animals like in the chordates than vertebrates. Let me discuss what are the classes were kept in the phylum chordata. Phylum chordata is classified based upon the skull or it is also called as a cranium. A cranium nothing but a bony box which lodges a brain. So, brain is always encased with a cranium. So, based on the presence or absence of cranium, the chordates were classified into two categories. Let me explain. Phylum chordata, phylum chordata based on the cranium or bony box chordates can be classified into two categories that is number one if the cranium is completely absent cranium is absent they are called as a craniata if the cranium is present or bony box is present they are called as craniata based on the cranium or bony box chordates can be classified into two categories like uh, a craniata in a craniata cranium is completely absent whereas in craniata cranium or bony box is present the a craniates further classified into two categories a craniata generally called it as before going to classify it is also called as protocardiata protocardiata the protocardiata or a craniata can be classified into two categories or two subphyla subphyla subphylum 1 is urocardiata subphylum 2 cephalocardiata and the craniata which is having a bony box is having only one subphylum that is subphylum I am writing here SP, SP means subphylum that is vertebrata. So, finally the chordata can be classified into based upon the cranium presence or absence a craniata or protocardiata and craniata are also called as vertebrata in a craniata the cranium is completely absent and these are further classified into two subphyla that is if the notochord if the notochord present only in the tail region they are called as urochordates. If the notochord is extended up to head region, is called as cephalochordates. And in this case, vertebrata, the notochord is modified or replaced with vertebral column called as vertebrata. Okay. Let me discuss the differences and characteristics present in different 
of phyla for example urochordata urochordata means as already discussed the notochord is extended only in the larval tail region and in cephalochordates the notochord is extended up to head region that's why they are called as cephalochordates the notochord is replaced with vertebral column is called as vertebrata so the urochordates can live in water cephalochordates also live in water uh, vertebrates can live in different areas like uh, they can live as a free swimming mode of life terrestrial mode of life burrowing as well as flying so the but the urochordates the urochordates can live as free swimming during larval stage and whereas the adult urochordates cannot live as free swimming and they can attach to the rocks why because their body is made up of it uh, differently uh, that will be discussed in the next point next cephalochordata the cephalochordate larvae and adults are both free swimming they look like a fish so hence they can live as free swimming mode of life whereas vertebrates are mostly free swimming some can live as amphibious mode of life as terrestrial some can live in burrows as fossorial mode of life some can fly in the air okay right so come to the next that point that is body body of the urochordates is covered with a, a test yes we can observe a jacket uh, or a an extra structure which is which can be seen in the uh, as uniform in the schools okay the extra covering cloth uh, present on the boys and girls especially girls so that could be called as a test in this case just for understanding i used that word test test is nothing but it is a a structure made up of with uh, cellulose the cellulose material covered the entire body suppose this is an organism on this organism test could be present like this which covers the body that is a a bullet like bullet proof as i already used jacket like structure so which is covered all over the body that is a skeletal system so cellulose made cellulose structured made up of a test or also called as tunic a tunic is a material that is a cellulose material hence they are also called as that means urochordates are also called as tunicates sometimes they can be asked in the examinations in the neat why do the urochordates are also called as tunicates due to presence of cellulose tunic yes then the cephalochordates cephalochordates body is elongated elongated body and which is having a non skeletal body so i will show a picture in the next page and vertebrate body is covered by in some animals scales in fish scutes in the reptiles scales are also present in the reptiles as well as on the legs of birds and uh, and in the some mammals also moist skin is present in the uh, frogs or amphibians and in some reptiles feathers feathers are found on the body of birds and hairy skin is a special characteristic of the mammal and the endoskeleton of vertebrates is may be cartilaginous or it may be cartilaginous and bony cartilaginous in cartilaginous fishes and in the remaining animals 
the endoskeleton is made up of with the cartilage as well as bone that is bony endoskeleton. The next characteristic is cardiate characters. Cardiate characters in urocardiata, cephalocardiata and vertebrata. The cardiate characters like notochord, first of all notochord, notochord found only in the tail of larva as already we discussed and the notochord is lost during metamorphosis. So, the metamorphosis is a special characteristic which can be observed in the urocardiate that is retrogressive metamorphosis. Retrogressive metamorphosis means the morphological changes takes place from higher development to the lower development. The higher development characters can be seen in the larval stage and the higher development characters can be changed into lower development characteristics in the adults that is why they cannot swim and they can adhere or attaches to the substratum or rocks. Then in cephalocardiates, in cephalocardiates the cardiate characters all found in the larva as well as in the adult stages throughout their life that that is that can be also called as in another word that is throughout their life is persistent or permanent persistent or throughout their life of the uh, uh, cardiac characters in the both larva as well as adult stage and in the vertebrate. In vertebrata, the cardiac characters are mostly found in the during larva, uh, during embryonic stage. So, during embryonic stage, the ca all cardiac characters are found and that will be replaced with the different characters like notochord is replaced with the, that is vertebral column, then nerve cord is replaced with the brain and the spinal cord, then pharyngeal gill slits are replaced with the lungs okay? and the post anal tail can be present during larva and in the in some animals uh, there is a tail also. So, let me discuss next points like special characteristics. Special characteristics in the weight, special characteristics in the urocardids, cephalocardids and invertebrates. In urocardids, there is a retrogressive metamorphosis. The retrogressive metamorphosis means reverse characteristics that is higher development to lower development of morphological characters. And in the urocephalocardiates, complete alimentary canal can be seen, then protonephridia with flame cells. Then the flame cells are also called as solenocytes. Then these are unisexuals and they can express both male and female that is male animal, female animal can be differentiated. Next fertilization takes place outside the body that is in the water as external and they are the burrowing in sand and they will exhibit a nocturnal habitat. Nocturnal means the, those animals are active during night are called as nocturnal animals. Next in the vertebrate. In vertebrata, all we discussed apart from that characteristics, all vertebrates will have a heart present on ventral side with two chambered, three chambered, four chambered. Heart is present in the vertebrates like fish, amphibia, reptilia, birds and mammals. Next there is a kidney, a well developed kidney that is a metanephric kidney. These kidneys are having nephridia for 
osmoregulation and excretion next paired appendages the paired appendages like fins limbs and feathers are also found in the vertebrates and example for coming to the example point that is example area of urocardiata like salpa yes we can remember this uh, these animals simply sad sad the first letter of salpa s yes, the first letter of acidia that is a and first letter of doliolum d so salpa acidia doliolum are the three animals belongs to the, that is urocardiata and next in the cephalocardiata there is one organism that is only one organism that is branchiostoma branchiostoma is also called as commonly amphioxus or lancelets so branchiostoma or lancelets or amphioxus is the only animal and in the vertebrate there are so many animals were included like petromejon lung fishes cartilaginous fishes bony fishes amphibians reptiles birds and mammals these are the animals were included yes i will show some pictures of salpa acidia doliolum branchiostoma and we know all these animals for example this is a salpa and this is acidia and this is doliolum so salpa acidia doliolum and this is branchiostoma yeah so these are the general characteristics or differential characteristics special characteristics was studied in the urocardiata cephalocardiata vertebrata of phylum cardiata okay thank you for watching